short history to this presentation. So about three years ago, uh, I began to see that my assumption that everybody had some sort of defined methodology in project management uh, wasn't actually being held out by what I was observing in the real world, and, and I found that strange. So two years ago at the Project Management Institute North American Congress in Vancouver, I presented a paper uh, on a rather simple method for developing your own project management methodology and explaining the benefits of it. And that was quite well received. And then earlier this year, PMI contacted me and uh, said, would I write a white paper or do some research and write a white paper on that topic? Just And uh, they had just released uh, a practice standard that had a chapter devoted to project management methodologies. So I've gone ahead and, and written the white paper, and it's actually due for release this week. Uh, I was hoping to have a, a copy of the white paper everybody. Uh, so today is Wednesday and it hasn't been released today. We expect it to be released this week. But what we do have for everybody, if you are interested, uh, we have the final draft, uh, my copy of the final draft of that particular white paper. So feel free to contact me if you'd like that and, and certainly we'll give you the directions on when that white paper is released. So do um, is check back with everybody at the end on some defined outcomes, what we're expecting at the end of this, this webinar. Uh, just two very simple and straightforward ones. Uh, first up, at the end of this webinar, you'll have an impression of uh, why a, a project management methodology is important, but probably more importantly, why a tailored project management methodology is important. So we're going to focus on tailored project management methodologies, not just any old methodology. I want to finish the webinar with some very simple tools that I've developed uh, to help you build your own project management methodology. Because as you'll hear me say throughout this webinar, the best methodologies are the ones you build yourself um, because you have buy-in to them. They suit you, your organizations, the complexity of projects, the type of projects, the size of projects that you do. Now, the tools that I'm presenting to you, uh, everybody online are the very first people to see these tools this afternoon, uh, so I would love your feedback uh, on uh, the tools. If you want to download them, we've got the website for you to go and download them, print them out, cut them up, throw them out, and we'll explain how that goes. But I'll repeat it at the end, but I'd love to see what you do and to see if this helps you at all build your own project management methodology. So we'll check back at the end to make sure that we've achieved those outcomes or are a great deal of the way towards achieving them. Um, so this is a webinar, I can't ask you this question, but uh, I just want you to think about uh, do you have any sort of project management methodology at all, no matter how complex or mature, uh, and also a tailored project management methodology, or is it the alternative, which is an off-the-shelf project management methodology? And what we do encourage people to do uh, in a live setting of something like this is to be prepared to share their project management methodology with each other. One of the wonderful things that I have found about the profession of project management is, generally speaking, I think very broadly generally, as practitioners, we're all very eager and willing to share our knowledge. And I don't think there's many people that I've met that want to hold on to their intellectual property and keep it to themselves. That's an absolutely amazing thing about the profession. So I do encourage everybody to share uh, your experiences, good and bad, with developing a project management methodology and definitely learn from each other. Earlier this year, uh, PMI published their regular Pulse of the Profession and this year it was uh, focused on uh, organizational maturity. Things that their research uh, clearly showed is that organizations with developed project management practices, benefits realization processes, portfolio management practices and program management practices and those with high organizational agility all had significantly better project outcomes than their counterparts who are less advanced in their project management practices. So within this very broad description taken from page 11 of the PMI Pulse of the Profession Report, we can see that in part it's referring to the use of a defined project management methodology. So I'm just going to go through some of the reasons why uh, we should have a project management methodology. As a consultant and trainer and whatever else that I'm doing, I always encourage people to ask you to justify things and, and connect the dots. So what we're trying to do here is just to start by saying, answering the question, why should you have one? 
interesting at the beginning. What does the PIMBOT guide define a methodology as? Well, it has a, a rather brief description on page 46, page 546. It's the glossary of the book. And it simply says it's a system of practices, techniques, procedures, and rules. That's just a one line that's in the glossary. I prefer a much broader definition, perhaps more, uh, more correctly, hopefully, uh, a better definition, which is a project management methodology is a defined, got to be able to spell out exactly what it is, documented. So this means it's out of the heads of the people who use it and it's actually put down in a documented form. And perhaps most importantly, discoverable uh, set of policies, practices, processes, tools, techniques, and templates that provide guidance on how projects are run within an organization. I put a deliberate emphasis there on discoverable because as a consultant, I've certainly been involved in a number of occasions where I've been chatting with clients or potential clients about developing a project management methodology only to have somebody in the room pipe up and say, well, have you seen S drive or K drive or C drive? We've got a methodology there that nobody knows about, nobody uses. Uh, and unfortunately, I, I have to admit that it's uh, happening to me about twice a year at the moment. So it's got to be defined, it's got to be documented, but it's got to be discoverable, and it's got to be easily accessible to all of those people who use it. And this is both the location of where it is, the format, the content, the language used, all of those things have to be discoverable by the people who are supposed to use the methodology. There's no point having the world's best project management methodology if nobody knows where it is. Um, or where to find things they need to know. But a methodology is also not a one-size-fits-all solution. It can be extensive, it can be minimal, it can be rigorous or lightweight, complex or simple, linear or highly iterative. It can be described in phases or described for the entire project life cycle. The most important thing about a project management methodology is that it should reflect the size, the duration, the complexity of each individual project and be adapted to the industry, organizational culture, and level of organizational project management maturity of the organization undertaking projects. So your particular project management methodology will be different or should be different from the project management methodology of your colleagues or peers because your circumstances are different. And shortly we come on to talking about the alternative to a project management methodology or a tailored project management methodology, which is an off-the-shelf methodology. And we'll begin to talk about some of the reasons why they don't work as well as tailored methodologies. But tailoring, tailoring is the term that we find in the document, uh, the PINBOT guide. It's used there to describe the process of customization. So the two words, tailoring or customization, uh, are interchangeable. Uh, and basically what tailoring does is it takes um, a, a broad framework and from that makes it customized to your particular projects, your industry, your organizational culture. So I've certainly worked with organizations that not from the outside look identical and they are in fact competitors in the same market, but their methodologies are very different, uh, reflecting the organizational culture and aspects such as tolerance or risk. Um, the attitude towards process and bureaucracy. That's what tailoring is. It's the process of customizing the methodology to suit you and your particular unique circumstances or projects. Alternative to tailoring your own project management methodology is to simply go and get an off-the-shelf methodology or a ready-made project management one. Now, there are many of these out there. There are some great ones, and they're all fantastic. So the big names out there, of course, we've got Prince2, we've got Method123, we've got 10 Step. Um, I could list them. I've got a list of them, which is, I think I can find out 100.